What's up there guys, welcome back to the channel and here we are playing more Beer Factory Simulator now. From previously stated, we are playing the Prologue Edition, but in this instance, we are going to be cracking on with what we are doing. So we need to export 50 crushed mold bags. We've done 29 out of those 50 and as you can see, we're starting a new day. So we'll run across and just see if we can get started over here. Um, is our employee yes they're already turned up to work even though we've only just unlocked the door that's fantastic and i really do do hope you enjoy this episode let me know by hitting that like button that would help me out a great deal what we're going to do is just take a look just to see what's going on with these menus at the moment we are going to need to order some more of this so we've got 29 out of 50 so we need a further 21 i make that there we go so we'll order those now we'll add those into the cart over here uh we can't really do anything else at the moment let's just have a quick look here we could order some simple pallets or storage a few different bits of construction stuff which we don't need at the moment and then also subcontractor stuff there as well we've got contracts for this one here refined 27 sacks of raw malt grain um and refined 26 so it sounds like we're going to be doing that for the time being. Um, I'm not entirely too sure how interesting that's going to be, but we can certainly take a look at forklift upgrades as well. So yeah, there's a few different things you can do here. Um, I think we sort of messed around with this stuff last time and we've already got a worker. So what we'll do is just go back. I think we can actually look at upgrading at some point as well here. They were available just a moment ago, but they're now actually greyed out. Uh, I think this would be an interesting one to upgrade the machinery room because I think you can um, do some extra stuff there as well when we get round to that. Yeah, okay, let's... Um, why is our cart empty now? We did that already. We filled that up with um, 21. I would have thought that it would return that, but anyway. Right, let's order. Right, that's that done. Right, let's go back out here. We should be getting our order arriving now, I think. Here it is. Right, we'll get the um, forklift into position. Turn on the engine. Start to move this over here. This guy's going to beep at us, isn't it, anyway, regardless. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I'm here, mate. Right, let's um, quickly open this. Jump back in. And let's just see if we can switch cameras a sec here just to lift this up. Push this into position, like so. And... What we will actually do is use the locking mechanism that we did last time. Right, okay, so this should be enough for us to finish this job. The, f the pickup truck's still waiting here, and that delivery truck's now on its way. So we'll get this inside. We'll start to unload this stuff. This forklift seems to be moving slower than usual, or is it just me? Now, this game has had an, has had an update since last time as well, so... Uh, it should make it quite interesting to see what's changed. Right, we'll step off this thing. In fact, we'll switch this... Switch the engine off, which I've accidentally grabbed this by accident. Um, we'll pop that on there for now. Uh, we'll switch the engine off like so just to save fuel because obviously we're going to be paying for that fuel so get a few of these on here just before we run across and switch the end switch this on so we need to go here um fill is flashing does that mean that we need to Oh no, we don't need to do that yet, do we? 
to let these things go up first. Ah, they've already gone up. Right, okay. Let's get some more stuff on. It's about getting them in the middle, really. I mean, that's the thing. Because then you don't have any blockages, you don't have any things bouncing off the sides as it's going up. We'll just get as many of these on as we can for now. Okay, that one isn't going to go up. And it won't let me get hold of that. Um, how do we do this? Wow. Yep, physics have gone nuts. That's better. See, I do R sometimes to reset position, and sometimes it doesn't do anything. We'll grab as much of this as possible and get this on. I wonder if standing there is a bit of a better option, because it, yeah, it allows you to line it up a bit better. Although that one's shifted over, I didn't do that. There we go, it should be alright now. Yeah, this seems better, although they keep moving for some reason. That's quite odd. Oh, I hope that's not going to cause an issue there. It's quite amusing, to be honest with you, to see what happens physics-wise. We could get the hold of that one there. Oh, my days. Are they going up now? Oh my days, is that blocked? Seems to be going up, doesn't it? I guess we'll find out, won't we? If these don't go up, then we'll know for a fact that it's... Um, why did it turn? So if I drop that on, why does it... It's like when I turn my back, that's when it spins round. <laughs> Let's see. Just dropping a couple more on here. Seems to ah, it's so easily knocked. That's why when I turn round, that's when the issues begin. Right, so that's that done. Um, that should be fine, I think. It looks like everything's going up nicely. What we'll do is we'll turn on the engine and reverse this thing up here. Get this in position for when we offload now. which is what we're going to be doing now. Well, we should be able to fit um, a further 21 bags on here when it comes out of here. That shouldn't be a problem, at least. So we'll step out of here and we'll start processing this stuff. So there should be 21 bags coming out of here that we can then um, provide to our supplier. Well, not supplier, the person who's waiting for us to supply. Oh dear. We'll need to move forward a little bit here, I think, with this forklift. It does look like we're pretty close there, but not close enough by the looks of things. Okay, that's a bit better, I think. Right, let's try again. And it, as I said previously, previously stated, it's very difficult to see what's actually happening here. We're just sort of trusting. Because if I turn, then the machine stops. So we're just going to keep looking in this direction and hope that everything comes out. Seems to be pretty reliable so far. It doesn't seem to be too glitchy in this regard, which is good. You wouldn't want to sort of be feeding in loads of bags and then all of a sudden they've gone missing. So that's good at least. And you can see on the floor there the dirt growing as well. So we can get our. Um, employee to come and clean that up. I'm not too sure whether they've got anything else to do at the moment. Is that all 21? That could be it. There's a bunch of stuff here. So he can come and get that, hopefully. Um, not too sure where our employee is right now. And there's a bunch of dirt and oil on the floor here as well. 
that need sorting out. So we owe our employee $52.1, sorry, $52.5, why is there one? Um, hold on a sec. Where on earth are they? Okay. Are you not doing any work today, son? No? Oh, okay, fine. Might have to fire that guy because he should be picking up that rubbish now. He's not actually doing anything. He's costing us money, so... Right, let's uh, lift this up. Um, okay, we need to unlock, firstly, I think. There we go. We had that issue last time. And then we'll move down. And there's that one done. So there we go with that one, guys. I guess we'll see what's next. Why... <laughs> It's quite amusing that they're trying to drive off and they're still attached to, obviously, what we're doing there. That's quite silly, actually. What's going on here now? Oh, this looks good. Is this a new area that's going to be made available for us? It's not really telling us anything, is it? It's just sort of... You have reached the end of the demo. All right. Thank you for trying this version to the end, and I hope you enjoyed the preview of Beer Factory. If you have any questions, suggestions, or comments, please visit the Discord and post them. I'll be happy to read you. I'll be happy to read you. If you want to support me, add the game to your Steam wishlist. It's a great help, and it keeps you informed. Well, that's fantastic, guys. I really hope you've enjoyed this. And, yeah, it's kind of ended quite abruptly there. I will be checking out a few more games. As you can see, there's a few things listed down the right-hand side here, which could be quite interesting as well. But I do hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment section if you have. And I'll catch you guys again soon.